Hi everyone and welcome to the channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in this video we're going to be checking out the P3 by Acmer. I'll do a brief overview of the machine and then quickly move on to two fun projects so that we can check out the P3 in action. Let's get started by checking out the P3. The machine is going to have four different interchangeable laser modules available. My machine has the switchable 2448 watt laser module. There's also a variety of combo kits available that you can tailor the accessories with the machine so that you can get exactly the perfect machine for your application. The Core XY system is very special on the laser machine. It moves the motor that shuttles the laser off the laser head frame and moves it to the main frame, reducing the weight and increasing the speed. A full linear bearing rail system offers precision movement and long wear. The fully enclosed machine is eye friendly and allows for easy smoke exhaust with the included fan on the back. Oh, but there's more! A camera system is integrated into the machine and the machine and camera connects to my computer with only one USB cable, less cables and a cleaner machine setup. And lastly, the machine comes all pre-assembled with only the laser module needing to be fitted so I can spend more time creating and less time setting up the machine. I'll have a link down below for the machine if you'd like to check out more details about it. And I'll also have a link to the first video that I made where I went into great detail about all of the really cool features on the P3 platform. But with this all covered, I'm now ready to jump into the computer and we'll get started on the first project to see the machine in action. The first project for the deep engraving, I'm going to be using some solid pine. This is going to be 3 eighths of an inch thick. I have the work material inside of the machine, focus of the laser has been set, and the work material is held securely in place with the four magnetic hold downs for the honeycomb. Inside the computer, we'll see that I've updated the camera view, and here's a great view of each of those four magnetic hold downs. Very convenient, and I'm glad that they are included with the machine. The graphic that I'll be using is a simple pattern. I've got two layers here, one for the engraving and one for the cutout. Let's check out the engraving layer. I'm running fairly fast for a deep engraving at 100 millimeters per second at 75% power. The laser module again that I'm using is that switchable 2448 watt. I have mine switched to that powerful 48 watt setting. Continuing on, I've got bi-directional fill, overscan is active, and the lines per inch is set essentially at 300, and I'm going to be filling all shapes at once. This looks good, and we'll move on to my cut layer. Running at a speedy 10 millimeters per second at 95% power. That's all I've got on this layer. So we'll close this out, and all I need to do is turn on the exhaust fan with the switch on the back of the machine, tune in some nice music, and we'll watch a little bit of a video montage of this first deep engraving.
Whoa, check this out. This is exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful, clean, crisp detail throughout. The engraving is nearly a tenth of an inch deep. When I check out the cut all the way around, there is no charring. Look at that, simply clean. And this hasn't even been cleaned up at all. And I am going to leave this just as it is. I thought I was going to do a two-tone color paint scheme on here, but I already have the dual tone color of the bare wood versus the engraving. So I think instead, I'm actually going to just use a couple coats of a spray polyurethane to finish this first project off. While the polyurethane is drying on the first project, I went ahead and loaded another blank into the machine. It's going to be that same 3 8 solid pine board. For this next project, I want to do a faster surface engraving. And to accomplish this, I changed the setting on my laser module. There's a switch on the side. And I switched it from 48 watts down to 24 watts. And this is going to produce a slightly smaller spot size for the laser beam, giving me even more detail. Let's jump into the computer and check out the next graphic for project number two. This graphic engraving is going to use a picture that I sourced from pixabay.com, my go-to place for free high quality images for personal use. I've got a nice head profile shot of a dog that is going to be on an engraving layer. We'll check out the settings. I bumped the speed up to 350 millimeters per second and the power level at 65%. And here's my other relevant settings. The line interval is set at 350 and I'm going to do everything all at once. This graphic image is mainly black and white, but there are a couple subtle tones of an in-between gray color, so I set the image mode to Stucky. This looks good, I'll click OK. I have also drew a box outline around here, so maybe I could use this as maybe a coaster. We'll check out my line cut for this project. Same speed, the power level's the same, only I increased the number of passes by one, going from two to three, and that's because I've got that laser module again, switched from 48 watts down to that lower 24 watts, which will still be able to cut through that solid 3 ace pine board. Okie dokie, this all looks good. I'll turn the exhaust system back on, cue in some background music, and we'll watch a little video montage of this next engraving. This is usually the part where I've got a nice catchphrase to describe the engraving, but I'm kind of speechless. Just check out all the detail and once again, there is no char on any of the cut through on this. This is just simply amazing. Two projects, one with deep engraving and one with surface engraving, both produce perfect results. The projects in today's video were a ton of fun to make and they turned out great on the P3 laser machine. Don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a like and subscribing to the laser channel. Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an excellent way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And until I see you in the next video, learn, create, and share.